am Pooja Banerjee and uh, I was born to Mrs. Purnima Banerjee and Mr. Deepak Banerjee on 8th of November during a very turbulent time of curfew in Aligarh Uttar Pradesh. Uh, in those days, um, as it was already pretty cold out there and people couldn't step out because of the curfew, my mother couldn't get the proper medication and in that process, uh, when I was born, I was born with a lot of cold and infection. Uh, so much that the doctor recommended that I need to be away from anything that is remotely cold. And that would also mean that I have to stay away from having bath, I have to have, you know, not, uh, I have to have like a hot towel bath and I have to be away from potatoes, uh, rice and imagine I'm a Bengali, that's my staple diet and I can't even have that, right? But, uh, so my mom, she, uh, she told me that you can't live like this. She said, my daughter will not live like this. She actually put me for swimming. Imagine swimming. Now, swimming involves uh, being inside the pool, which is like so cold, right? But uh, she said, Loha Lohi ko karta hai. And meri beti aise nahi jiye. So she put me for swimming and uh, I think that was, uh, that was the first ripple of my life because uh, eventually I turned out to be a national swimmer. I became a national record holder. I swam the 5 km sea race in the Arabian Sea. I swam the 14 km river race in Hubli. And then I was also practicing for 35 km sea race. Uh, and I wanted to be the youngest uh, uh, swimmer to cross the English Channel. But that didn't happen because of you know lack of funds. But uh, one day I will definitely uh, do that. You know, one day I will uh, cross the English Channel in my own uh, way and with my own money. And I'll definitely do that. But yeah, so uh, that thing, that phase of my life, I realized that it's just a small ripple which eventually, uh, I think, I started making big, bigger waves and uh, that was the first phase of my life. The other phase was during my childhood and my school days. Uh, <laughs> so when I was in school, you know, my uh, my teacher when used to bully a lot. I have had very good of, uh, like very good set of teachers and at the same time I've had extremely uh, uh, teachers like, you know, who demotivate you not really encourage you and they will put you down and uh, there was a time when you know I would uh, I would love to dance I would love to be on stage and I like to uh, perform on all the concerts and everything but because some somebody's parent who was supposed to be the cheeriest of, of that particular concert uh, they'll come for the concert and I was just removed I was like, I was in the front and I was supposed to be the protagonist of a particular dance performance or a stage performance and they just remove me and without giving any proper explanation. Uh, I used to ask them, so why, why would you do that? I used to ask my uh, my dance teacher, ma'am, why would you do that? They said, no, no, it's it's okay, you know, let, let the other girl do it, she's better. And I knew that she's not better, she's not good at all. But they would do it, why? Because, you know, their parents were the chief guest of the particular show. And uh, after a particular time, I realized that uh, my talent, my hard work will never go noticed if I have such teachers. In fact, uh, there was a time when, you know, um, during my swimming days, uh, my coaches left me at the train, you know, like just at the uh, railway station. And they said, you can't go to the train. I said, why, sir? They said, um, it's not allowed. You can't just go because you did not give that 2,000 rupees. I was like, sir, but I don't have that money. They said, no, but you cannot go the train. The other people have voted the train because they've uh, given the 2,000 rupees. And I was to be like, okay then. So again, my merit will not work here. My talent will not work here. But I had, I was blessed with a good set of friends, you know. So they said, if Pooja doesn't go the train, we'll also not go to the two numbers, you know. I think those things, those teachers, those uh, those incidences initially i thought you know that the world is so cruel why why would they behave with a child like this but i think those things those incidences in my life they uh, they kind of i'll say they made me a stronger person who i am right now and they made me realize that uh, after a point talent is all you need you might have uh you know like uh, influential uh, parents of yours but after a point only one thing will matter and that is your talent so that is another phase of my life which uh, i think it's, it's, it's something which i would like to talk about is uh, 
Uh, it's just a phase of life. It's just, I think uh, people might just create ripples in your life, but they are not uh, you know, sure that you might just create a bigger tsunami in their lives. You know? But I feel uh, this is, you know, it happens with a lot of people out there. A lot of school kids might be going through this and they may not be sharing this with you know, their parents or their family. And I think it's very important to you, like for you guys to understand that this is just a phase of life. This is just the beginning. There's more to come and there are a lot of things that are going to happen. So that was about my childhood. Uh, now I'm going to tell about my acting career, how it all started, what ripples uh, were made so that I can make some really big waves out here. Uh, so I was uh, uh, going to Pune. I wanted to uh, explore the city, which will be the right place to uh, study. I wanted to pursue my studies over there. My parents said that uh, they can only afford uh, uh, through scholarship. They're not so I went to Pune to check out all the details of my uh, future dreams and future studies and everything. And uh, there in Pune, there was an audition which was happening for Rodi. It's a reality show where all my friends were going. They said, Pula, why don't you join us? You'll be super for the show. And I was like, I don't know what Rodi's is all about. I don't want to be a part of this show. And uh, what, what do I have to do? And they said, it's okay, chill, just come. Uh, tag along and uh, we are very sure that you will get through it. I was like, okay. And I've always been, you know, like I used to always go with the flow wherever, you know, destiny is to take me. And I told my mother, I said, no, Mama, I have to go for this reality show for Rodi. And she's like, what kya hota hai beta? And I was like, uh, uh, TV pe and uh, jeet ke to bike mein ga. <laughs> you know? So that's what I had told my mother. She had no clue what was it all about and she said, okay, fine, even I'll come for the audition. So she came along with me. She stood there with me for the entire duration of the auditions. And just imagine, none of my friends got selected. Only I got selected for <laughs> the show. And uh, my mother was like, okay, you're selected. So what next? I said, now I have to go uh, for the show. And she's like, okay, fine. Now get me the red bag. I said, okay, I'll get you the red bag. And it so happened that I eventually won the red bag. I, I got what she wanted and uh, from Rodi's I got an offer from Star Plus. They, uh, they asked me why don't you become an actress and I was like, I am not an actress, I don't know how to act. And they said, uh, bar a jaye. we'll see what has to be done. So I went for the audition and the scripts were in Gujarati, okay. I mean it was a Hindi, sh like it was a Hindi based show but uh, uh, the dialogues had a little bit of Gujarati in it. And I was like, you've taken the wrong girl. I'm a bomb girl. I'm not a Gujarati, you know. <laughs> they said, ma'am, just give it a try. Just give it a try once. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And uh, I just didn't know. I went, again, went with the flow. Uh, uh, I thought, okay, let's just try. There, uh, my parents knew that I have gone for a shoot for Rodi's. The date was 8th of June. My return ticket was on the 11th of June. And... Uh, here, I had already signed the contract of Star Plus and uh, I didn't know how to tell, you know, like how to break it to my parents because they knew that I want to be an ice officer. They knew I want to pursue my dreams as, as an officer. I want to serve the society, you know, our nation. And I was, I was just, like I was happy, but I was very scared to tell it to my parents. Uh, and I didn't know how will I stay in the city. So people from Rodi's, they helped me. They gave me a place to stay. They gave me money. They gave food and they said Pooja just try just try and uh, see if it works out for you and uh, I said okay I'll just try and then I started doing a Star Plus show and I did not take that uh, you know flight back to Nagpur I remember 11 June I still did not board the flight and I still have the boarding pass with me because that boarding pass meant that I actually let go of that flight I waited for my turn and I waited uh, for destiny to play uh, you know its own tune and take me along its flow so that was another part of my acting career I'll say uh, I mean it's not a part of my acting career I, that was my uh, my acting career how it began I didn't realize that these small things that was happening with me they will create such a big impact in my life in fact I kept on telling other people my parents and my family members that 
the day I stop getting happiness from this particular field, I'll come back. And touch wood, till, till this day, I haven't uh, felt sad, lonely, or left out in this field. And uh, these are the small things, you know, like I think uh, sometimes you just feel what is happening, where, where is your life heading to? Because that time, at that particular time, you know, when I was selected for the Stapler show, I, I had to lie. I just thought that, what will I do? Uh, I just can't tell my parents that I'm working for a new show. And uh, it's, uh, you know, in TV show, what happens? You've got to work for two, three months and then the show comes on air, right? So for them, for three, four months, they didn't see me what I was doing. They didn't, they, they knew that I was doing a show, but then they just didn't see me on TV. So that time, it feels like a very turbulent time because your family is the most closest thing and you can't lie to them, right? And that's when I realized that... Uh, that again, that you know, those those little uh, ups and downs where you feel that you know the, uh, the water is above your head, you're not able to breathe, you're drowning. But sometimes it's not the way. It, uh, sometimes it's not uh, that what you see. It's the other way around. It's actually you're probably uh, rising higher, really uh, swimming through your life, and uh, probably reaching the shore out there. <laughs>